Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. And it is New Side Quest Wednesday. We got the new side quest for April is out. We're going to talk about how to complete it and explore it and do everything and do all the stuff. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or comment. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I've done a, got another video out. Okay, let's take a look. Side quest is in here. We're still getting the time stream trouble. That's going for another about five days. So we have special objectives that we need to do to get stuff. Rook's Vault is where you want to get to. But the problem with Rook's Vault is that it requires this key to get in. And we don't have that key. And so you can see here there's some stuff that you can get, like Tier 2 Primordial Dust and Mysterium and five, and 7 Star Shards and all that. But we can't get in there because we don't have the key. Where do we get that key? Well, we get that key here in the maze, but we don't have a pawn key. So where do we get the pawn key? Well, we get it in our special objectives, and this week's special objective is called castling. You see, I've already done one out of four. We can do this four times, and right now we have to do defeat defensive tank champion while using mutant, mutant, mutant and mutant so we're doing mutants this week maybe different next week i've already done one of these so i've got a key that we can go in now where can we find uh these defensive tank champions and who are these defensive tank champions so let's go to aunt may here they are right here these are the ones we're looking for so all the way from abomination down to venom so where am i going to find those well i got a couple of different ways of doing it First off, and this is the way I started. This is a little bit limited. You can go into uh, search and just type Hulk. And this guy right here, Hulk 305-1, dual. There's an Emma Frost who happens to be a defensive tank champion. You just defeat, very easy one too. Just defeat her. I did that three times. You can only do the duels five times before you have to spend units. So where else can we go? Well, if we go to back issues... And we go here to Arachnid Action, and we go to Chapter 2, The Drummer. And if we preview this, there is going to be a Rhino right there. Well, guess who is on the list? Rhino right there. Rhino is on the list. So we can very quickly go in here, defeat this 394 Rhino with a mutant, and then quit, and then come back in and do it over and over and over again which is what I'll be doing to get all of my pawn keys. So we want to go to fight. So we've got our key, and we can get four of these keys. And these keys let us into this, the, the maze. Now, we've got some other special objectives that we need to pay attention to. So the one I want to pay attention to right now is fully explore the Knight's Vault, Rook's Vault, Queen's Vault, and King's Vault at threat level 5. So, and that's going to get us this Awakening Gem, this 6-star Awakening Gem. The other ones are going to be a 6-star Awakening Gem Crystal for threat level 4, a 5-star Awakening Gem for threat level 3, a 5-star Awakening Gem Crystal for threat level 2, and then so on and so forth. But you got to be careful because we're only getting 16 of these keys total, and you're only getting four per week, which means you can only go into the maze four times. So let's go ahead and, and claim that. And um, and there are in the Rook's Vault, there are four paths right now to get uh, rewards. So we're going to go ahead and do do this one. And here's the reward. There's the reward we're going to get. We're going to get that key right there. Okay, there are no... Oh, champion requirements not met. Let's look at that. Only champions which fulfill certain requirements can be used. Tech or cosmic or mystic or science. So I have to get rid of Nick Fury. So we'll go ahead and do that. And there are no special objectives that are tied to the maze they're only tied to the vaults 
And so um, we are going to be doing the Rooks Vault this. Oh, no, I think it's, is it the Rooks Vault? It is the Rooks Vault this week. And then next week we should be getting a different one. Um, okay, so we need to switch out. We're going to edit our team. And I think I want to bring in Human Torch instead. Now let's see if that, okay, so now we're good. Because you can only bring in tech, cosmic, mystic, or science. So no mutant, no mutant, no, um, and no skill. So I've got, I've got all of these dudes and dudettes. So let's go in and let's hit the begin quest. And let's see how hard this is. We'll take a look here. So um, this path is going to give us buffet indomitable so their healing abilities cannot be reversed in a uh, buffet is going to uh if we get a, a buff it's going to immediately be nullified and then they're going to get a regen and then they get breakthrough which um has an extra armor rating this path is going to give us concussive resonance striking into the defender's block or auto block causes the attacker to be inflicted with a concussion okay uh the defender has 60 percent Chance to auto block. The auto block counts as a well time block. This goes into cooldown when the defender is knocked down. And so we want to hit them with a heavy and obstinate charge. Um, so there's not going to be a stun initially. This one is going to be crit me baby one more time, which is we're going to need champs that have high crits. God Slayer, so the special attacks can do damage and critical eye. Whenever the attacker crits on the defender, the defender gains an unblockable charge, making the next attack unblockable. Okay, so we have to watch for that. And then this path is going to give us Feet of Vigilance, Evasive Maneuvers. So whenever they're knocked down, they're going to get an Evasion Charge. And Dodge Souls. So the Defender has a 95% block penetration and can perform crit hits through the block. Okay. So I think we're going to go the Buffet route. That is this route right here. Sound is all the way up here. And I believe that we are going to start with uh, our guy right here. And we're going to start out with uh, Flame On. Because it's better just to start with Flame On and then you can turn it on later on. Okay, there we go. There's one. There's two. There we go. That's what I wanted. Nice. Nice. And I think that should be very close to it. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Very easy. Very easy. Not, not hard at all for that fight. Next, we've got... Diablo, and let's verify that Diablo has the same thing. Same thing. Okay, we're gonna... And we cannot activate that right now, but maybe next fight. We wanna we wanna win as many fights as with him as we can. Okay, there's that. it okay easy peasy so looks like there are two ways to get here to this champion and she's got buffet and all that stuff so we're gonna go ahead and human torch again can we turn things on we can and we're going to whenever we can turn that on we're gonna turn on the nova flame and there we go okay do a special here. Okay. 
And look at that. Melty, Melty. We did take some damage. I think we got uh, linked to her, unfortunately. Okay. And we're going to go... Uh, so there's two keys here. And why can I not go... We're going to go up. They give the same reward. So they give Mysterium and then these special crystals for the special thing. And then we're going to go to A, which is the boss. And the boss is this white Magneto. He's a 74,000. And um, he is, he's got power shield. So, and it's not a full power shield. Offensive speciality. Prowess, Surge, and Matador. So we're not going to be getting any... Um, we're going to start with Human Torch. Because we can do... And I don't think we can use our thing. We cannot. We're going to start with Human Torch because he does energy damage. And so he's going to give me charges here. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I got slammed by that. All right. Hulk it is. I think I want to get him to a special two. We want to get him to a special two. Wabam. Almost. And good night. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Just needed to figure out how to get around that special too. And that's basically it. So there, here. So we got a key. And we got some Mysterium and those special things. So I have no more keys now to get in here. I need to do the, the special objective to get the maze. So we're going to go into Rook's Vault. One time, and this has special objectives. So let's take a look at the special objectives. Uh, fully explore Knight's Vault, Rook's Vault, Queen's Vault, and King's Vault at threat level 5. That's it. And what's this thing? Choose your title. Okay, I could care less about that. We want the awakening thing. Okay, so, and we're going to get a... Um, there, I know there is a Storm Pyramid X in here, so we are going to bring in Nimrod. I don't know why this other path is here. So here is, so if we look here, we're going to get to do this four times because we're going to get four of these keys. So there is a path with a 5% Tier 6 Class Catalyst Fragment. 500 seven star shards uh some tier two primordial dust so we're going to be able to get 15 this week i think it's a total of 60 then and then the six star relic shards which nobody cares about so i think we're going to go for the we're going to go for the seven star shards we're going to open the gate and we just need to defeat her and that's it let's check her out see what she's got got heavy assault so we need to do heavies unblockable specials so we need a special one terminal velocity uh power rate and then each no mercy each time the defenders knock down the gate of cruelty so we don't i don't care about any of that stuff so we just have to watch out for the special we want to keep special ones because those are easily dodgeable boom 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 All right, here we go. Here we go. And we dodged it. Look at that. Look at that. Just like a champ. Oh, 
we did. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. Woo, that was close. That was really close. I tried to get tried to get snide and do a, a heavy there when that didn't really work. Okay. And we got some kind of objective. We want to go up here. So we got 4,000 some Mysterium plus 2,500. So I think we're going to get around almost 7,000 Mysterium. We're going to get those. We're going to come up here and we're going to teleport down here. And be done. That's it. There it is. All right. And you just rinse and repeat and do all that over again three more times. All right. That is the side quest and how to do it. Thank you for tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.